Neptune isn't a new feature to any of you that have used Record before, but it may be new to you if you've only ever used Reason. It's a pretty unique device in that it works great as a pitch adjuster when it's a little bit off, but it can also dramatically shift your pitch around T-Pain styles or turn your voice into a polyphonic synth. Suffice it to say, it's a lot of fun. Let's get started. This track we're looking at right here is one of the demo songs that comes with Reason. It's called Say, and it's by Olivia Broadfield. Make sure you check out all the demo songs and just give them a listen and investigate how they are achieving some of the sounds and effects. There are some really great ideas that you can implement into your own projects. As you can see, there are a ton of vocal tracks here. To start, let's just focus on these main vocals in the verse. Okay, let's give it a listen. There is something I should say. There is something I should tell you. There is nothing in my way. God, I have to get it out of me. Beautiful. Okay, let's try a few things out with it. I've got sort of the first eight bars or so uh, within these locators, and I'm going to turn the loop button on here so we have them looped, just so we don't have to come back here while we're working on things. Okay, I'm going to hit F6, go to my rack, and you can see I've already got the vocal verse up here. Make sure you find the vocal verse device if you can't see it already. Okay, I'm going to select this compressor, and I'm going to add Neptune as an insert effect. Selecting the compressor just ensures that Neptune is inserted after it, which is where I want it in the chain. Just take a quick look at the routing here. We can see we're coming out of our insert effects into this chain of devices. Coming into Neptune at some point. Then we're going back into this EQ and that EQ is going to the insert effects return. Okay, here we are. Let's just start playback and see if this has done anything to it. There is something I should say. Okay, it's a very, very small change. You can hear it just ever so slightly adjusting the pitch. The vocals are an off pitch, but nobody holds a steady constant pitch for every note they sing. That's just for robots and T-Pain. The Neptune is actually making a few little adjustments here. You can see this green line moving around here. That's the target pitch. That orange or yellowy line that we see underneath it, that's the pitch that was actually sung. And you can see Neptune's trying to make that pitch go to the green pitch. You can see it's actually tracking the vocals pretty well. The horizontal green line and the horizontal red lines, these are called the catch zones. Only notes that fall within these catch zones are going to be corrected. Now, Neptune isn't a genius, so it can't determine the key your song's in. Right now, it's just in chromatic mode, so every note has its own catch zone. If your singer's really off, this definitely isn't going to work for you, because it might correct something to a wrong note if that's what they're closer to. We can set the key up here. This song's in G major, so I'm going to select major. And then I'm going to select G. There we go. If you'd like to have different scales selectable, you can just use the scale memory buttons here. Let's go back to one where our G major is. We can see that the catch zones have increased in size a little bit. And we can also see that there's less notes lit up down here, which is going to make pitch correction much more accurate. Let's give it a listen now. There is some. We can definitely hear it doing something now, so head to the next chapter to tweak it out. 